Good morning everybody. Have a nice morning today. Have a very nice time with my English class at the beginning of the day. Welcome. You are most welcome to my digital classroom. Your spoken English class. Spend just two or three minutes a day here in my class and be a fluent English speaker very shortly. Today I will read two beautiful stories with two beautiful lessons for all of us. Try to follow me. Yes, with all your attention. Now the stories. But you have to wait a bit till the end to know the names and the morals. Let's start the first story. A fox was out looking for a late supper. He came to a hen house and through the open door he could see a hen far up on the highest perch safe out of his reach. Here thought the fox was a case for diplomacy, either that or go hungry. So he gave considerable thought to just how he should approach his intended supper. Hello there, friend hen, said he in an anxious voice. I haven't seen you about of late. Somebody told me that you have had a sick spell and I was sincerely worried about you. You look pale as a ghost. If you just step down, I'll take your pulse and look at your tongue. I'm afraid you are in for quite a seize. You never said a truer word, cousin fox, replied the hen. I will have to be a seize, for I am in such a state that if I had to climb down to where you are, I'm afraid it would be the death of me. The name of the story, the hen and the fox. The moral, beware of the insincere friend. The second story, one very hot summer day, when the ground was dry and many streams were dry, a lion and a goat came at the same time to quench their thirst at the same small mountain spring. As they looked up and saw each other, they at once fell to quarreling over which was to drink first the water. They even forgot their dead thirst. So determined was each that he was to have the first drink. Just as they were about ready to fly at each other, they chanced to look up. There, circling about in the blue sky over their heads, they saw a flock of vultures hovering and waiting to pounce upon whichever should fall in defeat. Grinning foolishly at each other, the lion and the goat said in almost the same breath, I insist, dear friend, that you shall have the first drink at the spring. The name of the story, The Lion and the Goat. The moral, it is better to drink second at the spring than to furnish food for the vultures.